Hey guys, welcome to day eight of 12 Days of Raging Tempest. We're gonna go ahead and let's just jump right into it. And today's been a long day. Today's been a long day. I feel like I've been talking all day. That's okay. We're gonna save these top two packs for last. I promised. So let's go ahead and jump into the rest of them. If you guys want, I can put a link in the description or say maybe a time card in the description showing where the secrets are. If that's something you guys would like, you can go ahead and say so. Quick tail. It's good for a first super. It's good for a first super. Okay. I've seen a lot of decks where people only use like one whip tail. I don't understand why. He is great for getting rid of problem cards. Switch Ruru and Sub Terry Cave Clash. If you guys don't like the way that I'm holding the cards, say something in the comments. I'm working on getting some kind of device that will allow me to clip up the camera either around my shoulder or above my head or something like that so I can look down like this and you guys can see them instead of me holding them up to the camera like this but like I said before I'm lazy I really am so ooh wow that's raging dragon okay that's a good pull So, so far, this deck's been nice to us. We got Whip Tail and the Honest Raging Dragon first two cards. So, I can be satisfied with that. Pack three. So, now I know I've said this before. I'll say it again. Uh, every card that I pull is for sale. Um, I just do this guy. I just do this kind of. Because I love. First of all, I love opening Yu Gi Oh! packs, it's a great feeling. Um, oh, the glass bell. That's cool. That's good. So, but, um, besides that, I'd like, you know, I do this kind of for you guys as well. So you guys can see, you know, over the course of the case, how easy certain things are to pull and how difficult certain things are to pull. Um, for example, we got Zodiac Barrage three times out of the first four boxes. But now we're on, but through through box seven, we haven't seen him again. So, and throughout the last seven boxes, we've only seen one broad bull. Um, so, and the thing about buying a single box is you don't know what you're going to get. There's no game. This is a good box so far. You don't know what you're going to get. You could get a box like this, or if you get a box like the last box, the last box wasn't that good. Um, so, so that's really what I do here. Um, obviously, I keep some cards. Uh, I collect, I collect, but even even the cards that I keep, still everything that I have is for sale. Uh, it's kind of how I how I sustain being able to buy stuff like cases. Uh, so, if you guys want, you know. I don't. I don't ask for money. I don't say, "Hey, here's my Patreon," or anything like that. Or here's my PayPal. Go ahead and donate. I don't do like that. Um, I feel like if you're giving me money, you should be getting something out of it besides just watching me open cards. You know, saying you shouldn't be giving money so that I can get cards. You know. So, if you guys feel like you want to give money to the channel, or if you, if you just want to buy cards, buy cards. Don't just give me money. Give me money and get cards out of it. Um, This isn't something I'm trying to become a millionaire off of. I just, I don't know. Opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards is awesome. Sorry, I didn't mean to get a little soapbox there, but um, I don't have 
I'm not going to have specific content for people who pay or anything. All my content will always be free forever. Man, the first four packs were nice, and we've got like four bricks in a row now. What do we got here? That's not that's not too bad. I wouldn't say it's not a brick pack, but it's okay. We're moving on. Oh, swing me a source. Borbo, he's cool. Cyber Angel Natasha. I don't think you can call super rares super rare anymore. When Yu Gi Oh first came out, the super rares, um, the ratio was one in every six. But when you have stuff, when you have these packs like this, where you literally get at least a super rare in every pack, it's not super rare anymore. It's just not. Ooh, Snowbell. Sorry, I didn't pause in the rare. I don't like chaos. Snowbell. Ah, I love Snowbell. She fits right into that level one tuner category we were talking about. Um, day seven. Snowbell's cool. I like Snowbell. I probably said it before, but. And I like the whole wind concept. Um, right now, I'm, I'm playing Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. And I don't know how many of you guys are playing Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links, but. Um, what I'm working on is leveling up my my Valentine. Um, I had over I got a level 18 now. I just got the uh, XC Triangle Spark today. Triangle XC Spark. And um, ooh, Thorough Blade. That's good. That's a good pull. So this next this this box has been pretty nice so far. But like I was saying, um, I've been leveling up my because I want to build that that Harpy Lady deck. I feel like that's a really good deck for that. It's a very interesting app. You know, it's, um... You want the deck you is only 20 cards. And there's no ban list. And there are some very interesting things you can do. It's only a three, three monster zones. There's only three spell and trap zones. Um, and I like that it's... Not all, but primarily old school Yu Gi Oh! Certainly the characters are at least. And most of the cards are. So. But, uh, I always get off topic. I'm just going to stop apologizing for getting off topic because I think subconsciously I do it on purpose. And if you know me, you would agree with that. Fusion Parasite, which is pretty good for rare. And Delta. Delta, um, uh, the Magnet Ward is coming back because of that structure deck, the Magnet Imperion, that fusion card is ridiculously good, ridiculously good, but ABCs are so much faster, um, I think simply because of contact fusion, well obviously because of Union Hanger, but Union Hanger is going to get banned as soon as the next list comes out. There's no way around it. It's going to get banned. Okay. Dragon Call Magician. Which is one of the... One of the better supers in this set. Obviously not as good as Rapier. But... Or Whip Tail. But Rapier and Whip Tail are only good because of all the secrets in the set. So... Um, I don't know. Switch for a rule. And what do we got here? A utility wire. Okay. So I'm debating between selling the individual Zodiac cards that I'm pulling from this case and actually building a Zodiac deck and then actually just selling the whole deck. That's sort of like a price break kind of thing. I feel like that probably be, someone probably picked it up faster. But at the same time, people who have money to buy a whole Zodiac deck probably already have a Zodiac deck. So. 
or at least a lot of cards for it. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm not talking enough about the cards that I'm pulling. I'm not just talking about the cards that I want to pull. So I'll try to talk I'll try to talk more about the cards that I'm actually pulling. Let's see what we got here. The rares, Mel D. Future recycling plant. I like this card. This card, if you don't know what it does, it's a field. And once per turn, you can either search for a polymerization from your deck, or you can scoop one back from the graveyard to your hand. And the secondary effect is that you can take a fusion material that you've used this turn during the end phase and bring it back to your hand. So it gives a lot of hand power and speed to fusion decks. I'm, I think I'm going to see a lot of people use this in the new with with the new ancient gear support coming out. Um, ooh, another raptor. Can't have enough raptors. Raptors. That's what I thought he was called when he first came out. Raptor. Because I. You know, I have, this, you have this thing where you never like really take the time to look at it, I just glance at it. And then for some reason, Raptor made more sense in my head to be the name. Because if you look at it, it doesn't look anything like a rat. At all. I don't know where they got their name. But. And because of the name, people are like, oh, it's the rat. So yeah. We're so yeah, it's the rat. But it's not a rat. It's, it looks like it looks like some kind of armored cockroach or something. I don't know. Okay, Fairy Tellerella, which is one of the better, if not the best, common. Let's see what we got here: Wind Witch Crystal Bell. Him, oh, I like him. I like him, but I want him to be easier to bring out. Well, then again, I don't because then I would hate him because somebody else would use him against me. And if you don't know what he does, basically he starts the duel over. All players, all cards, on um, both players' side of the field, and in their hand, and in their graveyard, and the Pendulum Monster's face up in the X deck, all of it gets shuffled back into the deck from both sides, except for himself. So, and nobody draws any more cards either, so you're literally stuck. If you're playing against me, you're literally stuck with nothing in your hand, graveyard, field, or face from the extra deck. Just nothing. You start to duel over, but you don't get to draw five cards. And your opponent starts with 3,400 monsters. Only well, thing to be worse is if you reset the life ones. Okay, another miscellaneous Saurus. I'm not, I'm going to try to get salty about how many comments we're pulling because that's, I know what's going to happen. Whiptail. I like Whiptail. Um, Whiptail doesn't get as much credit as he should. Um, Obviously, Rat's better because you search, but Whiptail gets over problem cards so easily. And just doesn't, just, doesn't just destroy them, it banishes them. So they can't come back. So even if it's not a problem card, like if you're playing against ABC, you can banish an A. And slow them down for as far as getting an ABC out. Eater of Millions. I literally have millions of Eater of Millions. Well, I shouldn't say literally. I don't literally have millions. That would be... That would be chaotic. Christron. More Christrons. Okay. So does anybody use Zodiac Ram Ram or Zodiac Bunny Blast? I know if you've been watching the whole series, I've asked that before. But if you're not watching the whole series, I want to know. Do you use it? If you do, tell me in the comments. But if you tell me that you use it in the comments, don't just tell me. Tell me why. Because I'd really like to know that as well. Um, I like to see people using cheap cards. Or like lesser used cards. You know? I love when people find a great use for a common. It's just, that's inspiring. That's inspiring. I love to see really well built budget decks. Really well built budget decks are my favorite kind of decks. Because anybody can win if they buy the new $900 deck. That's just how it is. There's the rare. Let's see what we got. It's the last pack before we open our top two. Okay. Train Iron Wolf again. 
I do have multiple, multiple sets of every super, multiple play sets. So if you want a full play set of the super, I'm selling them for a dollar. A full play set of any super for a dollar. Okay, here's our top two. And at this point, I'm just going to say that that's what Konami does now. They make the top two pack supers. Um, so, because that's what's happened in almost every box. And even the box that it hasn't, one of the top two was a secret. And then there's a secret down lower. So maybe those ones got packed wrong or something. But I think that's just what they do now. What do we got here? Oh, uh, finally we got a second broad bowl. Okay. That's going to go right into a sleeve and then a hard case. Broad bowl is so good. Broad bowl is so good. I can't say it enough. What do we got here? Are we going to finally get a fourth Zodiac Barrage? I doubt it, but because if they were easy to pull, they wouldn't be worth ninety dollars or seventy-five, or whatever they are. All right, what we got? What we got? Ooh, ooh! I have not pulled one of these yet. Should be one dark monster with two thousand or more defense. Check your opponent's hand, all monsters they control, and all cards they draw until the end of the third turn. After this card's activation, control all those monsters with 1,500 or less defense. This card is a shutdown card. This will shut your opponent down. I love it. I don't know if it's a money card or not. I really don't care. Because this is one of those cards that's just... It's so good. It's so good. And it would fit into so many decks. So many people run dark monsters. Um, and the artwork is beautiful. Not as beautiful in the sleeve, but you get the idea. Okay, guys. That's it. Let's go ahead and review what we got so far. What we got out of this, out of this box. Um, so, we got a Whiptail, a Rat Peter, we got Snowbell, Snowbell's one of the better ones, we got a Thoroughblade, we got a Rat Peter. I feel like Rat Peter should have been the Ultra and Thoroughblade should have been the Super, but that's okay. We got Glassbell, we got Odd Eyes Raging, another Whiptail, of course. And then our secrets, Full Force Virus and Zodiac Broad Bull. So, pretty, pretty good. That was a good box. I can't say anything negative about the box. It's a good box. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, part 8. We've only got four days left to go. Only four more boxes. So, I will see you guys tomorrow.